The truth is, guys can do a lot of things for the gram and clout, and so many times it gets them into trouble. One who has recently opened doors of trouble for himself is Yak Gotti, a YSL affiliate. I hope you haven't forgotten that there's an ongoing case that involves several members of YSL. All of this ain't just happening suddenly, one thing leads to the other. Let's talk about Yak Gotti and how he landed into this trouble. But before we start the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you'd like to join this month's giveaway for one of these items on the screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, and then watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Good luck. So Yak Gotti has been accused of something serious on the streets, and he's been arrested. Alright, let's not complicate issues here. These are two different things. He's been charged using his post on Instagram, and now his involvement in the shooting has been allegedly listed in his indictment. You know a RICO case has been built against rapper Young Thug and his YSL gang members using album lyrics and social media photos. Rappers Young Thug, Gunna, and 26 members of the Young Slime Life YSL street gang were charged with racketeering and gang activity on May 9th of this year. So Atlanta rapper Yak Gotti, who signed with Young Thug's label in 2020, was also indicted. As evidence against Yak Gotti, the authorities cited a photo of him standing on rapper Wyatt Fenlucci's Mercedes-Benz in the parking lot at Atlantic Mall in 2020. And from that photo, Yak Gotti used that for the cover of his single in the coop. You know the reason behind this Rico stuff is that the authorities want to stop gang activities and these guys have been suspected of being gang members. Now this is a serious one because being on Lucci's car looks like gang banging. There's a lot of things that's been happening between the two groups, and the cops are aware. They just were waiting for the right time and the perfect evidence. And I guess the right time has come. For Young Thug, he's been charged with more offenses now, and it all looks serious for him. Also indicted were Pee Wee Roscoe, Duke, and Thug's brother, Unfook. All 28 defendants are currently sitting in the Fulton County Jail without bond. Still coming back to the car story, let's talk about why Yak Gotti has been accused of a murder, and also whose murder he's been accused of. What most people know is that YSL and YFN are sworn enemies, but many do not know why they have that kind of hatred for one another and what really started the beef. YFN Lucci is from Summerhill, and there he met Big Nut OG, who put him on the path he is on now. Big Nut was like a mentor, a brother, and a friend to Lucci, which is why he's someone Lucci would not joke with. He's well respected, not only by Lucci, but also by the rest of his crew, while on the other hand there's King Trope OG, who also put Young Thug on his path. He was loved in the crew the way Big Nut was. Though YSL and YFM were not the same from the start, they didn't have this hatred for each other the way they do now. Well, one thing leads to the other. An important point to note is that Big Nut also had close ties with Young Thug and his crew. Though there was no beef between the two groups at the time, or there was beef but not serious. An incident soon occurred that caused a serious split between these groups. In January 2015, Big Nut was killed in a drive-by in McDaniel Street, Castleberry Hill in Atlanta. According to reports, he was standing outside a barber shop when a car pulled up and someone started shooting at Nut repeatedly on the same spot. Unfortunately, Nut could not be saved. He later succumbed to his injuries. It wasn't clear what caused the shooting or who ordered the shooting, as his case remains unsolved to this day, but rumors kept going around, as at the time of his death, that he was killed by YSL members. Looking at this story, there's nothing you can point to that might have made the YSL group upset about Big Nut, so what could have happened? Remains a question ringing in the minds of many. However, the death of Big Nut allegedly led to the separation of these groups, but there's more to know. There's King Trope, who was close to Young Thug as well. He was the one who introduced Fenna to Thug. After Big Nut's death, King Trope was also murdered. He was killed at a gas station where the surveillance captured the incident as it happened. From the footage, the suspect was already outside the gas station at a corner patiently waiting for King Trope to be out soon, and as soon as he came out, the suspect also came to proper view and shot Trope repeatedly and ran away. Young Thug made a song and dedicated it to him at the gas station where he was murdered. What do you think? Of course, what I or anyone else would think. That looked like an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. It looked like a retaliation for Big Nut's death and that's what everyone was saying. You know, when a beef gets to death, it just never ends. It continues like that for a long time and it never stops. It's speculated that these deaths are somehow the beginning of the hatred between YFN and YSL. It started as beef and turned into a war with Lucci claiming that his childhood home was shot at several times with his mom and sister getting caught in one of the shootings. Not long after the incident, YFN Lucci and Young Thug were seen getting at each other on social media. Lucci thought of a target that could be more painful for Thug and Jerrica Carlay. Thug's girlfriend came to mind. 
Lucci implied that he slept with Jerica in the past and that they both had a relationship. He wrote on social media, I know you miss Lane on that sofa with me girl, hashtag Rika. After that, he tweeted, I got your hoe on a leash and fly nigga took a rich nigga bitch. Can't do none but respect him. When Lucci was also asked in an interview if he truly had anything with Jerica, he agreed in his words. He didn't stop there. He went as far as claiming he had evidence of their relationship together and wrote on Twitter. He gon' cry when he see these messages. He also promised those who were interested in his evidence to show the messages once they follow his Instagram account up to 100,000 followers. That made the whole thing look like cloud chasing, but he also proved he was for real when he uploaded a conversation between himself and a lady that looked like two people were planning to get hooked up. That isn't enough evidence to say that the conversation was with Jerrica, right? As no name was mentioned, Jerrica also took to social media to address the issue. She wrote, imagine someone speaking on your name that she never fucked. Imagine being harassed year by year by a nigga that has no comeback, so he taunts a female. But Lucci insisted he had something to do with Jerrica and continued to tag her. In an interview, when he was asked about his claims concerning Jerrica, he also said he's been in bed with her a couple of times. Young Thug was no longer having it, so he responded to YFN Lucci in a post. He wrote, shout out to solo Lucci, Young King, then followed it with, you just trying to get on. If any upcoming rapper want to be put on, let's make music. I want to be. He also said in a different live video that he would also slap Lucci if they ever met. You should trust Lucci to never stay silent or sit back. He targeted another important part of Thug's life, and this time a very important part of his life. He uploaded a video of Thug's daughter and captioned it with, Happy B-Day, baby girl, then followed it with several hashtags, including one that got the attention of everyone. Long live nut forever. If you know Young Thug well, you know that he doesn't just joke with his family, especially his daughter. He quickly responded to that post and warned Lucci to stay away from his family. No diss or problem was obvious between the two groups after the time until Young Thug dropped a song and YFN Lucci had something to hold on to. But he didn't bring it up until he saw Young Thug's cover for the song. The song is titled Jeffrey and was dropped in 2017. The song went viral not only for its lyrics or video, but mainly for its cover photo, where Thug wore a dress designed by a Thailand designer. Lucci also dropped a song titled Long Live Nut, dedicated to Big Nut. Thug released his fifth project that he titled Easy Breezy Beautiful Thugger Girls, or Beautiful Thugger Girls for short on January 16th, 2017, which is the legendary Tupac's birthday. That didn't come to the notice of his fans until he made a public announcement on social media. Two days after he released the song, he declared that he intentionally dropped the song on Tupac's birthday because he believes he's the new Tupac. He wrote on Twitter, I dropped EBBTG on Tupac's birthday because I'm the hashtag new Pac. I feel like I'm the thug he didn't get to become, hashtag, so I'm going to finish what he started. Lucci saw Thug's post and decided it was time for him to get at him again. He wasn't cool seeing him call himself the new Tupac. You know, Tupac is a big name, so he probably felt Thug is not worthy of the name. He then used his then cover photo against him as he wrote, Pac would have never wore a dress. He ended it with a clown emoji. Thug responded to Lucci and wrote, thank God you able to take care of your mama and be humble. Doing too much could become a deep sleep. Lucci then released a song he titled, Like Pac, in response to Thug's tweet about being a new Pac. The beef went from bad to worse as it left social media and became more physical. In 2018, YSL Duke, Thug's associate, was involved in a shooting that almost took his dear life away from him. Remember, once it involves lives, it never stops. On that day, Duke went to the Magic City Strip Club to have fun, and while he was leaving the club, he noticed that he was being followed by two guys. He turned to be sure that they were after him, which he confirmed. As he turned to run, one of the guys pulled out a gun and started shooting at him. The bullet hit him, but he managed to run still. He ran around a car, which made bullets miss him, and he eventually got away. Part of the incident was said to be caught on the CCTV camera, which made it quite easy for the police to apprehend the shooters. According to word on the streets, the incident has been tied to the beef between YSL and YFN. And you know, just like that, these guys were leaving traces of gang violence everywhere. These cases involved the police, and they were there silently taking notes of the cases as they learned about it. Whether anyone believes it or not, apart from the ones in uniform that you see and call a cop, there are informants for cops on the streets. Those people give the cops information that they need to know, and on the streets, such a person is called a snitch. All talking about a snitch. YSL Duke, at the time of the incident, was accused of being a snitch. It was said that he got himself into trouble because he snitched, but that rumor didn't last too long, as Duke showed paperwork that proved his innocence. 
If he didn't snitch, that could only mean YFN is a big suspect in that incident. Whatever the case may be, it shows some people didn't want YSL Duke alive. At one time, an unknown person went to Big Nut's gravesite and painted the word slat on it. The phrase slat is a phrase commonly used by Thug. It's not clear if someone acted on his own or if he was ordered by Thug. Either way, it has something to do with Young Thug and as you might have guessed, that could lead to a bigger problem. But this time, those involved didn't cause too much trouble that was noticeable. Now back to the Car Linux story. When Thug dropped his album titled So Much Fun, he threw shots at Lucci in a track he titled Just How It Is, where he gave answers to why he wore a dress in his cover photo. He rapped, had to wear a dress because I had the stick. In the same song, he also rapped about the Linux situation and other things. Last nigga tried me, almost got popped in Linux. Ask the cops, ask the detectives, they know all the business. Ask the kids at school, who ambition, all the missions. Gave the lawyers close to two mil, he handled all the killings. Wait, what? Have they been sliding and covering things up? Well, if that's the case, then it's really crazy. Well, if everyone else vibed to that song, Lucci didn't. He had something to say after he listened. He wrote on IG, cap ass album, and also wrote, boy almost shitted on himself in Linux, no cap. Again, Young Thug said he isn't going to do anything to harm Lucci because he takes care of his mom and his child. It was after that that Yak Gotti would post a picture of himself standing on Lucci's car outside Linux Mall. I bet he did that for the gram, just to get attention and clout, but now it's being used against him. On top of that, he's been allegedly accused of being involved in what started these problems, which is Big Nut's death. Well, it's not yet confirmed, but if it's true, it's not looking good at all. So, what do y'all think about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hey you, yeah you, you like the video? Great, we got another one for you that we guarantee you'll like, and all you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees, but you have to click on it fast because this message is self-destruct in 5 seconds.